Hi. Welcome to session zero of Terrible Eye, a Dragon's Table mini campaign thing. Um, okay, so here's the plan for today. We're gonna go over, like, the basic premise. Um, I'm gonna sort of lay down the law as far as, you know, what I expect at the table, that sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna look at everyone's character sheets. I know a couple people are still building theirs, and we can do that right now. Um, hi Dwyer in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um and then Hi, at the Dwyer. end i know there's probably a bunch of questions uh i gave you guys oh we might review the lore document as well um mm -hmm. just so that everyone's on the same page um but if there's any other lore questions you have i can either tell you the answer to them or tell you go find the answer when we get in the game next time um yeah. so that you know or you know any other questions you might have mm -hmm. so uh first let me just open up the premise and i will give the rundown the intro if you will all right so it is year 1770 it is early winter not early winter it's midwinter it's uh past the new year um and a powerful noble by the name of mr uh normanth lord normanth has a mission for a couple of plucky young adventurers no just kidding he wants nobles on this job nobles and <laughs> people who are uh experienced with their weaponry um he has recently heard tell of someone by the name of stein grimmer the wise who is uh claiming to be able to know people's entire pasts and such uh you know a uh, psychic so to speak um and he, this guy apparently knows a lot of a uh, secret details about the empire that no one else should know um which is obviously upsetting to uh perhaps a high-ranking noble so he is sending a bunch of you guys who are on a patrol um to go either figure out what this guy's deal is get rid of him bring him back up to you once you get there um other than that uh whatever happens after that happens you will discover more about your journey along the way uh does anyone have any questions about that before I move on. Uh, mm. uh Norman is the uh he's one of the high house guys, right? Yes. Or okay. Hold on, let me open up my other thing. Important lore that PCs would know. It's opening. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord Mor Norman, he is part of House Ephrath, who are the uh law people the law folk of the capital i see so it's illegal to be a fucked up little guy so you gotta go <laughs> deal with him <laughs> Sam, unidentified, you fucking guy. unidentified fucking thing blow it up now literally that is the, that is the premise <laughs> of this this, uh, this whole situation. i am sending you to do the reba mcintyre point and then make an explosion yes or you know i said there's options you can choose to arrest you can choose to yeah um recruit mm -hmm. maybe maybe you're in the dark side now who knows Whoa. um the dissidents they have a way of words <laughs> the dissidents oh yeah and i am gonna give you guys a chance to introduce your character in this session. um anyone have any other questions regarding uh just the basic premise well, you don't it have. seems pretty simple and straightforward mm -hmm. to me right. for now yes okay. yeah <laughs> for now all for right now. so um, just as far as, like, campaign stats, uh, I'm planning on four to five sessions, and I'm gonna tell you the layout of the campaign right now, um, provided you guys don't get super into it and spend a whole session's role-playing, which you're welcome to do, I love it when that happens, um, but <laughs> just as far as, like, planned plot goes, I'm front-loading it, um, there's, uh, first session, arrival at the fortress, you're getting your brief, you're going camping, uh, Our briefs? Yeah, you're getting your pants on, you're getting out there. Uh, no, you're getting your mission, your mission brief. You're getting mission brief. Um, and you're getting out in the world. Uh, second session, uh, plan on being sort of a arrival to the town, recon, scoping out the place. Third session, and possibly a fourth session, combat, uh, if you decide to go that route. Um, fifth session, victorious return, and question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um... <laughs> Each session is planned to be uh, between three and four hours long. It might go slightly longer on some times, like the last maybe session might go a little long. Um, but as always, this is we're not using 
um, like a physical map. This is Photoshop, so I can just click save and we can pick up whenever. Um, as far as party size, we all know, four, four players. Um, in the document, I said two NPCs. I made another one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> new little freak. Sam, I made. Sam cannot resist making new little, little freak. I I oh, needed man. I needed a a face to complete a task in the background, and I was like, ooh, what if they what were if... like a person though that you could? <laughs> <laughs> what if um, recruitment? <laughs> yes, and I will go over the basics of combat because I know um some of you were here for the pre-alpha. Some of you have never played, and some of you are playing the current version, which means we're all at completely different levels of knowledge. Um, as far as visitable locations, um, again, I lied in the thing. It is three. There is the initial oh. fortress, there is the campsite, um, and then there is the location of Steingrimmer, um, which I will keep vague. Um, closed off sort of world. If you try to wander off, I don't recommend it, but you could try. Um, Nora will arrest oh. us. Uh, you're you're pretty. Yeah, I will. You're pretty much under the uh, long arm of the law on this one, so. Uh, no. You no can tr you can try you could try to, you could try to get to Luan and bother people, you. but I don't. Oh <laughs> God! We're gonna get Godfried. We're gonna break him out of there. We need a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, kid. <laughs> No. Um, the difficulty is medium. I'm having the enemies be the same level you are, which is generally how I do difficulty. If they're lower than you, it's easier. If they're higher than you, it's harder. That makes mm -hmm. sense, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, all the enemies, at least for this first map, are level 10. Um, if there's any, if you pick fights with anyone else, um, all the NPCs have hard set levels, so be careful. Careful out there. <laughs> Walking to like, Lord Normant's office swinging. <laughs> hey, bitch! <laughs> you suck! That would be a very funny way to start off the first session. I mean, Annika did say murder hobo, but, um... Okay. <laughs> Almost 90% kidding. <laughs> I know you can okay. it's okay. Um, I, no instant death effect, so, um, you guys don't have to worry about, uh being one shot comma evilly you might be one shot comma accidentally um but good news is as always it's very hard to die in this game so limbs just, not guaranteed yeah your limbs might not make it but you probably will um well that's good it's hard to die the question is would you prefer to be dead <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly maybe have a tagline who's ready to get melted oh no I'm kidding. Who's ready uh, to get maybe. spuddled? Oh, to be spuddled? What a dream. What a dream. Life I actually get to choose to be spuddled. <laughs> spuddled. You, gotta, you gotta find a spud first. Um, all right. Maybe. All right. Uh, as far as playtime goes, Mondays at 7 is gonna be our playtime. We're an hour late tonight. Um, and mm -hmm. we are going to be starting next week, if that works for you guys. Yeah! Mm -hmm. That works for Should, me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tabletop game. So then, why don't we run through and introduce our four player characters? Oh yeah, an important thing to note: you will see on the stream your four little guys. We have a mm -hmm. all all girl party this time. Um, girls girl night. Bosses. Girls night. Literally girls <laughs> night up in this bitch. Um, uh, your little guy has a number on my D four that is one through four. Anora is one. Theodore is two. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, Sometimes I roll a d4 to determine what happens to you in battle. Um, mm -hmm. Like, you know, who gets who gets hit with an attack and stuff. So just know you, Anora will always be one. Theodora will always be two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so why don't we start at the top? Anora, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh... Or you, would you like to introduce Anora? You don't have to be in first person. It's okay. Okay, yeah, <laughs> let me... Uh, her name's... Uh... Nora von Libius. She is the um, youngest uh, youngest child of her noble house, which would be Libius, I guess. Oh. Her whole deal is, boy, oh boy, I do like hunting down traitors to the empire, and I have a big axe. My and her her wyvern's name is Lavinia because that's very important for everyone to know. Yeah, is her wyvern's uh, full name L Lavinia Libius? <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Uh, she didn't think that one through. She didn't think that one through. No, that she didn't name it. She oh, didn't that's name it. True. It was her, it was her, her mom mother's didn't think that one through. Her Aww. mom didn't yeah. think that. <laughs> or maybe she name. did, and she said, "Oh, it's gonna be so funny." She's like, "It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> it's gonna be cool to have matching initials." Aww. All right. Uh, anything else we should know about Anora? She has an older brother. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. There he is. He's out there. All right, uh, Theodora. What's her deal? Uh, Theodora is, um, she is a uh, Theodora Killian, so she she from a family, mm -hmm. um, and um, she is the youngest of four siblings, and um. Probably the most pathetic of them, but you know. Everybody needs a pathetic person. Hey, um. Yeah. Um and she she uses a bow. Um she's not like the most um insightful person, but she is trying her best to be a good soldier. Alright. Looking forward to uh seeing Theodora in action. Um, and once, um, I know some of these have character art, but, um, we're gonna reveal that with the rest of the character art, um, as they are sort of introduced in the campaign, because obviously some of the NPCs mm -hmm. will come with art, um, and I know a bunch of you already drew stuff, so. <laughs> Every, all of yeah. it at once. I don't want to hide anything in session zero, which no one's probably gonna watch. Um, hi, Dwyer. <laughs> 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 all right. Hi, Dwyer. Temperance. Hi. Tell us about Temperance. Hey, my Hi. name's Temperance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Temperance. Short of words. I'm a mercenary. I'm good with a sword. This is my sword. She holds out just a normal ass looking sword. Its name is Wristbreaker. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a good oh, sword. That's a, nice, that's a very good sword. So, if that's clear, what happens if you fuck with me? Damn. Yeah. Uh, and how old is Temperance about? She's like 50-ish. Okay. And how old was Theodora and Honora? Oh, Theodora's 29. Okay. Uh, Honora's 25. Okay. Alright. Uh, is there anything else about Temperance we should know? I think a good no, thing to note right would now. be that, uh, is, uh, Temperance, is Temperance a noble? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She okay. gives a little head nod, but you know. Yeah. All right. And so are Doesn't Theodora and it. Anora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and last but not least, Faustine. <laughs> uh, Faustine is the adopted daughter of. Uh. Um. I lost my notes. It's okay. Oh, no. It's okay. Uh, Faustine is the adopted daughter of Gabrielle and Bartolo of how of House Nahir. Uh, she actually is in the military for more scholastic purposes and is working towards hopefully uh, increasing her rank so she can get access to much more meaty uh books and magical research available in the empire mm -hmm. yeah. she likes she loves to read she loves to study and she loves to succeed nice uh -huh. excellent excellent and how old is she she is 33 all right so we got a nice uh balanced party as far as ages go that's also good Love to see that. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so those are the four players. I will not be introducing any NPCs today. Obviously, you've heard of Lord Normanth. He's in the premise. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you will not see the his freak. art or his um, anything today. Um, yeah. You just call him a freak? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the freaks, period. <laughs> <laughs> 
Freaks. I was like, all you know is that he's give offering to pay you to do a job. Freak. <laughs> Call him a freak because I feel like Anora would kill me. Employer uh, derogatory. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. He's rich. You can be. You can be mean to him. All right. Anora, yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I'm just gonna quickly go over like the trigger warnings just for mm -hmm. both viewer purpose and you guys. Just that if I have put anything down here that you missed, you can. Tell me now. <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your pee. Um, there's gonna Whoa. be body horror. There's That's gonna be healthy. gore. Uh, graphic <laughs> gore, probably, if any of you get permanent affected. Um, mm -hmm. Your characters are probably not gonna return 100% all of them. That's just how <laughs> it goes. Um, if you're the kind of person that gets upset that your character got seriously injured, maybe build a second character. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh points at Edwin. <laughs> He's fine. He's totally fine. He's totally fine. Um yeah, we violence, you, you know. Violence, uh <laughs> lots of fun cult stuff. And Ooh. I don't mean that in like the death cult stuff, I mean like in cult practices. <laughs> I will be using cult tactics on you, the players. Oh no. Um <laughs> Sam gaslights us more. I will Evan. be gaslight gatekeeping and girl bossing at all of you. Um to varying degrees, uh, but we'll see um, how much I want to actually partake in that. Um, and then just like possible stuff that might occur that it definitely for sure exists in the world and depend on who you talk to, you might hear about it, but is not like part of the main plot. Uh, you know, we got the classics, we got incest, we got child <laughs> death, we got oh, cannibalism, and we got, you know, uh, when, I, when I describe it in the full campaign i call it going full dragon guard so just be aware mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah if you haven't specifically told me not to include something it is on the table and i am poking at it with my fork um very good all right uh okay and now i think just to lay down some basic rules about uh you know game game stuff game courtesy uh, obviously, um, my style as a DM is I like to make sure everyone is participating, um, which means that, uh, if a bunch of characters are off doing something, I, I like to, every couple of hours, maybe go down the line and be like, what's this character doing? What's this character doing? What's this character doing? Um, so, even if you're not included in a scene, it's recommended you pay attention because I could just turn to you at any moment and be like, what do you think? <laughs> So, uh, the the equivalent of the teacher. Yeah, I'm gonna call on you even if your hands yeah. not raised. So, oh, no. try to pay attention. If you if you slip up, you know I I do it too. I phase out of reality once in a while. Um, it's okay. We'll just oh, sorry. This is this is a super casual game. Like, it's fine. Um, but just so that you're aware. Um, as far as you know, just we're all we're all buddies here <laughs> but you know be nice to people um especially big big thing there's a lot of people at the table and there's going to be a lot of characters talking not only you four but also all the npcs um conversation's going to happen try not to interrupt other people um i know that's hard when there's like so much going on but um <laughs> just like you know try to feel out where the conversations are going um and because these sessions run so long and there's so much to cram into all of them let's try our best to stay on topic <laughs> um i try to limit off topic ramblings to like five minutes in the main campaign but sometimes i get swept up in them um yeah mm -hmm. But Raises like as hand guiltily <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's okay because if there's ever if I have my little gavel and my chapstick here. Yeah. Um, so I will uh, draw attention to the fact that we're no longer playing the game if that happens. <laughs> um, Wait, do you have a real gavel? I don't. I have a chapstick. Okay. I thought you were like, I thought the gavel was the thing that you. No, the gavel is the mallet. I thought it was. Sorry, I'm already doing it. I'll stop. <laughs> You're being hired by the law guy and you don't even know what a gavel is? <laughs> Bestie, you're going to jail. No, listen, listen, it's okay. Anora does. I don't have to know. As long as she knows, yeah, we're fine. As as she knows. A sound block. It's called a sound block. You're That's the thing you hit him against. Yeah. <laughs> um, against. yeah. As far as other stuff, obviously <laughs> cheating either. is bad and wrong. Don't do it. 
I shouldn't so have to explain on that, that one. level even like it's a short campaign there's so little you gain from cheating anyway <laughs> exactly it's yeah. as Oh, sorry, Trikey, but you're the one who's here. Uh, gestures lovingly to Edwin. Sometimes losing is more fun. Sometimes fucking yeah, up is no. more interesting. No, um, you could you can even gesture to uh, the the pre alpha build in which my character received lower body paralysis, so I just rolled with it quite literally and <laughs> turned my character into a rolling death machine. Exactly. <laughs> See? Like, so if you're yeah. uh, if you're fudging numbers in order to not get hurt by things, just know um, you're actually supposed to get hurt by things and you're playing the game wrong. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> the point is that you die. No. Uh, the point is that you have fun and be yourself. What? Uh, as far as other stuff, I'm trying to think. What are some other game rules? Oh, yeah. Um, so the manual, if you've looked at it, you might notice <clears throat> the bottom part where it says how to play is completely empty. Um, nice. <laughs> I have not gotten there yet. I am working <laughs> on it. Um, but I'll just give a quick uh, rundown on how the game plays. Um, basically, it is divided into phases, a.k.a. player phase. Uh, enemy phase. Any Fire Emblem fans will find this very familiar. This is, it basically uh, works like that. This is combat, that. right? Yes, combat. Um, yeah, outside of combat. I'll, yeah. I'll explain non-combat um, after, because <laughs> okay. that's a little bit more nebulous and complicated. Yeah. Um, not really. Uh, but uh, inside of combat, player phase, there's no initiative. You just go, you, if you're a player, you go during player phase, talk amongst yourselves. Um, when it comes to NPCs, I do not control the actions of NPCs. You do at the beginning of any map with combat. Everyone rolls a d20. The people with the highest rolls get to pick which NPCs they also control. So basically, you have the option to control two units at once. Any NPC that if there if like three of you roll high and then you're all like, I actually don't want to control NPCs at all. Um, you can either tell them to go sit at camp and think about what they did. Or you can let me control them, in which case I will play as the NPCs. It's up to you. I want to. But I worry. do recommend playing as the NPCs um, because it's that's fun. kind of what they're designed to do. Yeah, Trikey. Trikey's, yeah. Yeah. Trikey's it's, my, it's like my you guy. Get to, you get to play with someone else's skill build for a little bit. Yeah. You get, you get to, to you get to hype up your own little guy with the powers of the little guy I've loaned yeah, from the oh landing Yeah, you get to play with someone else's turn. little action figure. Why wouldn't you want to do yeah. that? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to hold on. Let me just quick open the NPC builds. I don't remember how many of them are support builds and how many of them are killing you builds. Mm. One moment. Um, I believe they're kind of like build. they all have a little bit of support and a little bit of kill. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, it's a good range to maintain. Yeah. Oh, this one is kill mostly, and this one is mostly support. <laughs> one of them is kill, and then the other two are kind of support. Um, very cool so yeah options um and obviously um it's completely possible to for you guys to force me to manifest little guys out of thin air <laughs> so if that happens i will i will i'll make them i'll make a little guy if you force me to uh, hold the gun to your head sam source turtle <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys Aulis. enjoyed the little Aulis in the lore. Yeah, <laughs> I did. He's in there. As the, as the government assigned Aulis liker, I did. <laughs> uh, the the past two characters I pulled out of nothing have been big hits. So, yeah, uh, we can say. Um, <laughs> other stuff. Oh yeah, I was explaining how combat works. So um, on your turn on the player phase, you move your little guy and uh your loaned little guy. Enemy phase, they attempt to kill you or do whatever they're trying to do. Each map might have different goals, um, like kill the commander, route the enemy, escape, that kind of thing. Um, like I said, only two planned, one or two, depending uh, combat uh, instances, so not that many <laughs> options here. Uh, but hopefully they will be entertaining. Um, I'm confident. Does, does anyone have any questions about combat? I think yeah. it will be easier for me to grok what's going on when we are actually in the thick of it. Yeah. 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 Although I do have a question. Yes. Uh, how, rolling to hit, how does that work? 
Um, so, yeah, okay, let me explain the dice rolling, um, yeah. just because that does trip people up. Okay, so rolling to hit, you're rolling to hit an enemy. You take a d20 roll plus your skill modifier. That's your hit. Um, if that number is higher than either defense or resistance, if you're using a physical weapon, it's defense. If you're using a magical weapon, it's resistance. Um, the damage types are listed with every weapon. If it says something like fire, it's magical. If it says physical or force, it's uh irregular um then if it's higher than that number you hit them uh mm -hmm. after that defense and resistance no longer matter once you hit them you hit them you roll whatever the damage die is on the weapon plus either your strength or magic depending on what kind of weapon you're holding um and you deal that amount of damage to them okay. works the same way for enemies they do the same thing back to you um does that explain it Yes, okay. perfectly. Um, and as far as criticals go, uh, the default is if you get a natural 20, you get a crit. Some enemies can't be crit, but if you roll a 20 on an enemy that can't be crit, it will still automatically hit them. So okay. even if they can't be crit, a 20 always hits. Um, what, um, what does a crit do to the damage dice? It again? doubles the die. Not the total amount, just the damage die. So, so you don't roll twice, basically? You don't roll twice, so you get your damage die, you double that number, and then you add your strength or magic modifier. Mm, okay. It, it'll it'll be easier uh, once I think we're in battle to um, yeah, I agree. figure I it agree. out. Um, I'd pull up the map to show you, but I don't want to spoil the map. <laughs> say, just from my own experience of always forgetting to combine different little bits across my sheet, something that y'all might do which i know i'm going to do is start keeping just like a little lit running note of like oh, yeah. when you're rolling to hit roll d20 plus like i like if i'm rolling to hit i'm gonna do like roll d20 plus zero skill mod plus two i have insight which gives me plus two to my skill mod mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I have that for yeah. Genevieve. I've got like a whole cheat mm -hmm. sheet of like, if I crit, this is how much number you roll. Yeah, especially <laughs> when you have those skills that are like, oh, if you're doing this thing, add something only when you're attacking. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Can't oh, put that in the buffs. I didn't realize the other, the main campaign gang is talking in the chat. Hi, guys. Oh. Um, <laughs> Hi. They're talking about all this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, what other things to explain? Outside of combat, so outside of combat, um, it kind of works like any other RPG where you have your proficiencies, um, and you can make checks around the environment, you can, like, investigate the world you live in, you can buy stuff with your gold, um, your negative proficiencies, uh, so your positive proficiencies, they work as you'd expect, but your negative proficiencies, um, they work the opposite way, so they'll make you worse at whatever skill you're negative at. Um, make Not sure you mark those off, because they are important, yeah. and it's funny when you fail. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's funny when you succeed, too, but it's also yeah. funny when you fail. I could, mm -hmm. I could give an example of this, but it would be derailing us, so remind me when we are done with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <Yeah. laughs> let's see, what else? I'm trying to think. Uh, I was going to say... If you fail something, you can just ask someone else with a better stat to do it. Yes, usually. you you so, can only uh, yeah. attempt like to make a check or do a task once, but you can turn to your neighbor and say, "Hey, your turn." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it. within reason. If you're like at a heist and you trripped the alarm, you can't turn to your neighbor and be like, "Okay, now do it quiet this time." Do it. <laughs> uh, well. But you know, if you're trying to make a magic check on an item, um, and you are not the mage you can turn to your local mage and say help <laughs> um passing yeah. all the magic items over to faustine yeah, all like... of us looking at faustine yes Girl, um no. i will Girl, we can't read i will say I, I will help i will help you with the book stuff the book stuff i will say uh just as a warning regarding permanent effects uh panaceas aren't real they're real but they're they don't exist in this campaign so don't rely on those to be able to fix you uh, okay. once you have a permanent effect, unless you're really not feeling so hot about one of your siblings, um, <laughs> it's staying that way. <laughs> and even then, they can't all be fixed with, um, organ donation. So, just be cautious out there. Uh, 
Anyways, what other... I'm trying to think of other non-combat things that happen often. Don't worry about nightmares. And don't worry about your nightmare coefficient. Oh, Those will not that. come into play. That's... Mm -hmm. And don't worry about beasts. Those are not coming into play. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, no, no critters. No critters. Brownie what? face. The me <laughs> giving you me giving you a beast would be a little bit useless considering you can't harvest it and you can't make it into uh for, for the joy of dissidents. <laughs> the dissidents? Points the dissidents. <gasps> Is this Real. a dissident? Don't worry about the answer to that question. <laughs> uh yeah, no one here has anthrax, unfortunately, Celestial Rand says in the uh, chat. Mm. Mm. Um, okay, Trey, am I forgetting any, um, sorry, you're gonna be my assistant. Uh, mm -hmm. Am I forgetting any uh, parts of gameplay that oh, are notable? I feel like I was just thinking of something, but I, no, I was just thinking of how much Archibald's just constantly doing perception checks, so. That's good. Advice. Always be perceiving. Um, yeah. If you're, if, like, if there's literally anything like feel free to stop and be like hey i want to check this thing like, yep and you can make i sure. i yeah. uh believe in the philosophy of you can make any check on anything and i will answer it um but you'll get different answers every time so you can make an athletics check on a magic book and i will tell you how likely you are to be able to do a cool <laughs> flip with it um <laughs> oh, yeah. how Samantha, you thief. Yeah. yeah i'm taking that from you <laughs> I'm, I cannot be the first person to no, do this. Definitely I not. learned it from watching you. I learned it from watching you. <laughs> yes, but I will uh, do my best to give you answers. <laughs> um, there will be a result. Yeah, I will. Say, I will say words at you. Whether they are useful is up to you. Um, and yeah, oh, here's something. Oh. Uh, dashing in combat, unless you don't want to get that specific about it. Uh, but... Dashing in combat, just to clarify, it is your movement speed times two. So if you have a movement of 30, that means mm -hmm. normally you can move three squares. Each square is 10 feet. Um, but if you're dashing, you can now move 60. But if you're dashing, you can't attack. You, mm -hmm. can't, you can't do non-free actions after a dash. Unless you have, like, a special skill that negates that. But I don't think any of you picked that up. And speaking of picking up skills, why don't we take Whoa. a look at those character <laughs> sheets? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I thought of one more thing. Okay. But What's up? It just fits in your lore. Uh, does everyone here know how the uh, holy weapons work? If that's what they're still called. Uh, yeah. Here, let me explain it. Um, so, first of all, I would not be expecting any holy weapons to pop up during hmm. this campaign um you guys are yeah. too you guys are too low on the totem pole for that <laughs> <laughs> let's go rob our houses guys yeah <laughs> um but uh in general as far as holy weapons work your characters would all definitely know this since they're all nobles um basically if you have major if you have a major blessing not only can you use it you can use it very good you can use the special skill that it has um, and it glows gold when you use it, so you look super cool. If you have a minor blessing, you can still use it, but you don't get the special effect, and it's kind of like a sad gold. Like, it's, it's you know, like a glow stick that is dying. Um, <laughs> if you don't have any blessing, uh, it does 1d10 damage to you every time you attempt to attack with it. Uh, until you burn oh, to geez. death. So, uh. <laughs> don't pick up things that aren't yours. Um, <laughs> unless... You think you can kill it before the weapon kills, kills you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or but... I guess if it's like, I'm picking this up so I can give it to somebody else. Yeah. I mean, even so, if you, if you, uh, if you grab onto it, your character, even if it's not, um, doing HP damage, your character is going to immediately know, ouch, hot stove. So, um. <laughs> yeah, I get some oven mitts for that. Even, it, it, bur it goes through clothes, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, oh, no. it's got that magic power. There's only only those who are worthy may pick up the cool swords. Um, and by worthy, you mean nepotism. Nepotism babies, yeah. <laughs> um, that's fine. You guys are all nepotism babies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out to us. Shout out to nepotism, so full of nepotism. Emperance resents this sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. 
had I temperance on the back. I have my suspicions about temperance thanks to what she is refusing to elaborate upon, but I'm waiting to see what she reveals in game. Yes. <laughs> Everyone has come to me with uh, beautiful, beautiful secrets, which I have <laughs> shoved in my mouth after writing them yeah. on sticky notes. Um, <laughs> Wog. As far as, oh yeah, if you guys have like, it's a four to five session game. But if there's like, I don't know, any specific character points you'd like to me to attempt to touch on with your characters, uh, please DM those to me. I will do my best to have, um, you know, some NPC nudge you towards a conclusion somewhere. Um, but if oh there's boy. a specific thing, if there's a specific thing you want your character to be like thinking about or, you know, emotional vibe, um, let me know so I, I know what I'm working with here. Because with a big long campaign like the main one, I have, you know, literal years to figure out what the characters <laughs> are are up to in the brain space. So I didn't really ask to see where it went. But uh, I don't have that much time with this one. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's it's not cutting Completely corners. Reasonable. It's planning smartly. Um, yeah. Were there any other questions? I don't remember. Uh -huh. Oh wait, I do have a, qu I oh. do have a question, but yeah, it's yes. not about the game. It's fine. Can I go pedal real fast? Yes. <laughs> the okay, first I'll... pee break of terror. Wow, <laughs> the first pee break. Hold on, let me throw out my little thingy. Your what? <laughs> my thingy. You have a thingy. Whoop. Yeah. Five minutes. Oh. Oh. Girl, oh, we are okay, a clipping right. issue. <laughs> One second. What? Uno momento. I'm wiggling. Yeah, yeah I know. Well. I just wiggled you. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That feel go. when you wiggle. I'm gonna go get some more water. All right, everybody, go take a dump. Wow, it's beautiful. How are we I doing, won't. Twitch chat? I'm here. Godfrey For... leaks nightmares into the world around him. Due Annika, to are you the anonymous aura. wolf? On my uh, sheet. No. Okay. Well, I was just gonna say because I was lazy and just put all of my character stuff on my sheet so I wouldn't lose it. Be nice and don't look at my character sheet unless I reveal stuff in game. Yeah, I scrubbed mine of of lore details. Well, uh, I'm gonna when like, it comes to character sheets, I'm gonna make an announcement. But um, in general, make sure your character sheet is viewable by other players. Okay, then I will just oh that that's the wrong function. I will just copy you can this have you can have a little side document where you have important stuff, but your new character sheet must be viewable by other players. Open. I accidentally Look. forgot to just open the copied spreadsheet. Oh, I keep looking at my little beast. Spud. So I'm <laughs> deleting that. Oh. Every time hey, I spud. Emma, are you the anonymous wolf on my spreadsheet? In my Good opinion. question. Uh, I am in B2. Okay. When yeah, what, I, what just, I went that? ahead and I copied out my, my lore stuff, so if I reveal things, I can just do it at my own pace instead of somebody read all of my notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I don't didn't see nothing. put uh, important notes in your notes section if you'd like them to be secret. <laughs> yeah, I fixed it. I need to know everything. Everyone else, um, yeah, it's up to you what you share with everyone else. I'm back. Okay. Hello. All right. Our first five minute break is concluded in under five minutes. Record timing, everybody. All right. Okay. So Good why job. don't we go right down the line when it comes to character sheets? I'm gonna look at TMAT first. Um. Howdy. I'll put this I'm on go the big screen. <gasps> Whoa. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh no! Can see my shit. Oh no! <laughs> Man down. Man down. All right. Okay. Damn um, the spot. I'm just gonna go through, make sure everything is formatted right. Uh, okay. Current status is two. Nightmare coefficient. Um, justification for two. She's a soldier. All right, uh, sounds good. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna check your math on these just because I believe in you guys. Um, mm. and also because all of you have blessings. It's kind <laughs> of fuck so <laughs> i don't i the, that amount of math at 9 p.m you can't make me um all right uh so fair queen it looks like your stats are fine um can you color code these yeah yeah, yeah, yeah sorry that'd be appreciated my brain i 
I have to view all the sheets at 80% just because I have so much um, on my screen. I can't mm. see bold at that uh, resolution. Oh, there. Okay. Um, as far as weapons go, uh, this Draconite. Yes, make sure you're taking your class only from the base classes. If you want an altar class, you gotta go through me first. And by that I mean you gotta ask and you gotta give me a good reason. One second, I'm being texted. <laughs> That's my boss. She wants to play. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Surprise fifth party member. Yeah, it's an NPC. They're calling me to work earlier and earlier these days. Crazy stuff. Making that bank. Alright, uh, make sure you're also, uh, doing your, uh, negative ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me just look at them. Weaponry, combat, history, intimidation, bestiary, that makes sense. Inner magic, dark magic, sleight of hand, deception, and insight. Oh, that's gonna be so festive. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's... I, I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. I like making the skills represent the character. Yes, I think this really paints thing. a picture of a very specific character. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Who do you know about? Points yeah, ahead. that's good. Uh, Dragon Axe, perfect. Steel Mace, Vulnery. All right. Um, that maths out correctly. Uh, cool. skills, shield, axe, revenge, provoke. All right. Someone's finally going for the axe fair. The fair skills that I still have to change the names of. Um, <laughs> what is basically, uh, the major holy blood buff, but in skill form. <laughs> um, alright. Oh, yeah. Inherent skill. Yep, yeah, looks good. No permanent effects. Yep. Okay, this looks good. Yay! A plus. <laughs> alright. Oh, I did good at character Star shape. Sticker. Which is a thing you can be good at. Next, I drag... <laughs> Trike into hell. Oh, character art. Yeah. No, no spoilers. Don't look at that. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Just sit in the corner. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, that sweet, oh, sweet oh, bow, bow, bow art. Yeah. Trike, you did a very good job on drawing it's that bow. Nice bow. Thank you. Weapons is hard. Um, agreed. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, it doesn't matter for this campaign, but okay. in the future, um, for every human character that you kill for every human enemy you add one to your nightmare coefficient so you would start with two but it'd be two plus zero and then when you kill someone b it'd be two plus one so three um mm -hmm. trike has the correct formatting here trike with his uh advantages no <laughs> sorry <laughs> no <it's fine. laughs> yeah um all right yeah if you could just color code the blue as well that would be oh, appreciated yeah. I yeah. I can do that on Edwin's too, I don't think it is. Also, holy shit, why are you plus two to everything? Uh... What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, okay. Specialized discipline. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what the fuck? <gasps> no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's too late. Did I? That's not. There's no... Hold on, I'm doing mental math. Okay, looks good. Um, the blessing that looks good. You're also a minor blessing and no effects. All right, Trike, you get an A plus at characters. Nice. Who's Trike, next? High five. To to, Onyx, uh, drive for. Hello. We gotta help you build a character, don't we? All right. Yeah, I have my stats done. I should have everything on the left column done as well. I can't see the the what's blue just based on Discord's quality at this very moment, but I can clearly see the red, and I'm giggling a little bit. It's, I think it's because she used green. Do oh, you want yeah. me to switch I mean, to blue? No, no, no. It's it's fine as long as you can see it. It's simply I literally I, did not theory. notice it was green. Please switch it to blue. <laughs> Why did you just bold my shit? Because I can't see it. I'm sorry. I'm I'm super zoomed out because I have to have all of you open at once, plus everything else. Can you switch it to light blue? <laughs> like this. Like, um, this blue. Nice. Thanks. Burns my cornea out blue. Yeah. Oh, I love the- I love these, uh, that we are looking at. The, uh, proficiencies <laughs> and negative proficiencies. <laughs> yeah, I love how evenly it's, uh, stacked. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. 
right, there we go. It's so straightforward. You happy? Yes. I'm very happy, thank you. Um, all right, mercenary, I think that's good. So, inventory, let's take, uh, what's her name? Temperance. temperance. Let's take Temperance shopping. Oh. Okay, yeah. so I have, I have a thousand gold to start. Yes. Does that have to be split across skills and No, inventory? you have a thousand for uh, skills and a thousand for okay. inventory, and whatever you don't spend on skills disappears forever. Whatever you don't spend Not on it. inventory goes into your gold amount. Okay. So spend all the skills, but you can keep as much in your inventory as you like. Because yes, there uh, will be options to purchase things. Let's get this girl a sword. Yeah, what kind of sword? Oh, really? What kind of sword do you like? Um, if uh, it's blacked out on the side, um, redacted. Ask about it because some of these might not be redacted at this point in history. Oh goodness! Not that you can afford That's a lot. So I want. Yeah, like I was joking earlier that I was avoiding any of the items that said, if the dragon's table NPC dies, you get this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's really funny, like, if Godfrey yeah, I got is this dead, you get this... his whatever. Okay, I so I'm looking for... this lady named Eric. Alica? Who knows who that is? <laughs> oh, you probably know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me being Centuries. intentionally obtuse to piss somebody off. <laughs> what were you saying, Annika? I'm looking for a one-handed sword. Okay, so All right. one handed Probably one hand sword. most swords are red, right? Yeah. Are any swords yeah. not red? Uh there might be like one, but it's like one of the weird jank ones. Okay, I was just gonna control F one handed red sword. Yeah, that's what I'm doing as well. Wait, um, what I've been doing on these since they're set to view only, if you go to data and then you hover and you click on filter, you hover over filter views, you can create new temporary filter view oh, nice. that will let you actually filter. And so from there, I, I'll filter like, oh, I want everything that costs 300 or less. Oh, I want Yo. everything that says <laughs> uh, fire in the damage description, etc. Y'all are so much smarter than me. I did just go through and read every I, single I, fucking thing. I mean, I did that with the skills because there are way less of those, relatively speaking. And it's easy yeah. for my brain to gloss over like, okay, that's for monsters. Okay, that's for something yeah. that my character does not specialize in. But like, there were, yeah, there were a few enough bows that I just looked for the word bow. But yeah, like I, I work in Excel mm -hmm. on the yeah. So... Oh. Starting miles ahead of us. Uh, is there right. any, like, anything, like, thematically that your character likes? Because these all have descriptions, so we can uh, also search by that. Her shtick is that she fights with, often with one hand behind her back. Hmm. Uh -oh. um, or to the side. Oh. Like, she's very specifically, like, focused around one hand. Uh, and she moves her wrist incredibly quickly. Hmm. Okay. Like uh... a fencing style of attacking things. How like about a like a heroic one? sword? That's a 2d6 physical, you attack twice regardless of speed. Oh, yeah. No, that's slaps. Yeah, that's popping. And it's only 500 gold, so you can uh, spend your other 500 on either a secondary weapon okay. or some That items. goes in my inventory. That does go in your inventory. Correct, Amundo. Yeah, if you wanna- if you copy things out of these sheets, you can press shift Control v to paste without formatting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. Sometimes it uh, forces the cells to split back apart from where Sam merged them as well, and there's a button that just merges the cells back together. Yeah. Get merged, idiot. Oh, no. To... <laughs> merge me. Is that a permanent effect, Sam? Merging? Um, there's the opposite of that. Oh, that well, that's is... not... Hold on. What is it called? Attack twice regardless of speed. Isn't it like bisection or some shit like it's that? It's called something like that. Hold on. Yeah. It's called do you, bifurcate. Ah, uh, yes. Half do you all your stats. Have a second, a second weapon at all. That's two d six physical. Was that directed at me? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. You can either have a second weapon or you can get some uh, items. Yeah. Or there's no wreck on that. Uh, okay. The items and that list was a cost also has uh, bonus items and 
uh, modifying items if you're interested in stuff like, oh, this item will give me a bonus to my skill level, or oh, this mm -hmm. thing will give me more defense. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I have 500 to spend, but I might want to hold on to some of it. Yes. Or should I just go ahead? And... It's up to yeah. you. It's Don't up worry. to you. Yeah. What's a reasonable amount of money to have on me? Keep in mind, you can always, uh, buy, uh, you can, like, find stuff in the area, and you can, uh, get money from defeating enemies, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can sell things we find as well if they're not things we like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right now is your only opportunity to pick off the items and weapons with no interference from Sam's RNG at generator, yep. so. So true. Uh, All the loot is randomly generated. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at Godfrey. Fucking, I... <laughs> <laughs> Was Godfrey you finding the party feeling. like some really, really good no. shit over and over? No, you know what? I'm gonna go on a tangent here to complain. Okay. <laughs> Pop queen, go! <laughs> so... I've been wanting to nerf Gottfried for like six months, and I had a plan. But he picked up the w last session, while my plan was in action, he picked up the one item in the entire game that negates my plan completely randomly, out of the sand no less. He didn't even pull it off an enemy. <laughs> Godfrey refuses. <laughs> he said yeah, no. He is, he, he's like, he's reached out of the me. narrative. He's like, you've done enough. Ah, <laughs> but anyways. That's my tangent. What I would recommend <laughs> is spend as much money as you have right now because you don't know what loot I'm giving you. Um, mm -hmm. So, who knows? Maybe yeah. I'll give you only lances. Um, we also yeah. don't and know what kind of stores we'll find. True. So should I grab another weapon or just some items? Uh, or... Well, you could take a look at the items and see what uh, yeah. appeals to um, you, or you can grab a second weapon. Yeah, I feel like the items are varied and useful enough that it's probably good to look through them at least. And if you don't feel like them are useful to you, you could always grab another weapon. I like the skeleton key. I like opening things. With yeah. regards to weapons, uh. I think what might help is thinking like would temperance even want to use multiple weapons or would she just stick to the one she's stuck she sticks to the one all right then, then yeah. don't get a second weapon yeah. <laughs> i lost it there was there was a skeleton key somewhere oh yeah it, it's alphabetical i think um Sam, skeleton key get used up when you use it uh i Logically wouldn't. No, but... no, it does not. <laughs> okay. Yo, temperance is surplus. <laughs> That's yeah, some... there's, Yo, there's, like, it's some you. Clothes. You can't afford it. Named yeah, after, uh, I cannot afford it. Yeah. I cannot afford the special armor that makes me trip. I will save up for, for it. Second, for you. That there were and... other items because I still had it filtered on my end. <laughs> Andrew says we should all buy a vengeance? Question mark. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. We did a we did a map where every enemy had the same item, which was vengeance, which is an axe that only afflicted people can use, and we've been selling it to merchants all along the way. Hey, <laughs> want to buy a vengeance? Well, none of us are afflicted because not all of us like being alive for now. I'm, on one hand, I'm kind of glad none of you are reflected, because that really, that really adds some interesting vegetation to my pot. Um, but also, like, the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> the flavor of the horrors. The flavor of the, my specific brand of horrors. Um, that's okay. I have Wait, plenty the of specific to... brand of what? The, the horrors. The specific, like, horrors. No, what, like, what specific thing? Oh, affliction. Oh, okay. Because that, that part somehow just kind of glossed right over my brain. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I don't know why. Right. Boo, sorry! The audio, looks really the audio useful. recognition delay. Honestly. Um, trying to think of other things that I think are generally useful. Most of it's just like, if you see something that fills in a stat that you like, that's also nice. Mm -hmm. And also, just a little, I know you guys are all familiar with speaking to me, but I, I do apologize if an eekaboo occurs while you are talking. Uh, that's okay. That's all. Sometimes Christ. I do be Dubious talking about spread. 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> bread. Listen, dubious bread can be found anywhere. <laughs> They'd be having dubious bread in the capital. Too. If you guys, okay, Alice okay, 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 okay. <laughs> if you guys what? force a festival festival of fools to occur, not only will I allow you to play through it, but I will make like. I'll do I'll do the whole thing, you know? I'll do all the goofy outfits, I'll do the funny rule set, I'll do it all. But like I don't recommend it. <laughs> Get that bread. No. I imagine it's not as fun when uh when we don't have the games and games and games of the context established it's, it's combined I've, lore. I found that it's the most fun not right after you've gotten acquainted with everyone but like a little bit after when you don't know their deal yet so you can still ask them embarrassing questions and like they mm -hmm. might answer um you yeah. know but strange i have 100 gold left should i just grab a vulnery i mean that's always a completely valid thing to buy you Doesn't haven't matter. added anything to your inventory except for your sword i specifically just wrote skeleton that does not go and, in there that goes in your combat inventory how is that a combat <laughs> How it, is goes that in your, it goes in your inventory because it's something that you spent money on. Yeah, yeah the non combat inventory is for flavor. That's I like flavor items, oh. like my pants. Mm. Yeah, I still keep did, holding. Why won't it let 50, me copy and paste things? Items. I am quite modifying it's, my thing. I'm not. I'm I'm because I here. think it's because the non combat in, combat inventory is a large merged cell, and you're trying to put it into a single cell. You're probably better off just manually typing in skeleton key. And, and this is a key. Yeah. Boom. Does no damage. <laughs> Has no effect yeah. other than opening doors. Yeah. Yeah. Open slot. You know. Like, no. Yeah, you can yeah. put that how much it's worth. Because the other thing is, like, yeah. I, we can just sell it for full price. So. Yeah, there's no, um... Yeah. I don't I don't take a cut when you sell stuff back. If it turns out that like one of our NPCs is a rogue who can open up all of the doors for us for free, it's like Oh, oh yeah, I'm not shit. telling you who's it's, who's in my little Oh yeah, so no, honestly... I'm not asking you to tell us. I'm just saying that that is the yeah. thing that we can't do if it's, it turns um... out something we have is yeah. rendered ineffective. Mm -hmm. Honestly, um having two of something is never ineffective because uh you only when you get on the map you only got so much time to do things and yeah. people kind of start walking off in opposite directions to do things um <laughs> you, you you are like, speaking I have to chase, right now i have to chase people down with edwin to make them take hp sometimes looking at valente <laughs> um, that just sounds so in character of them though <laughs> go off valente yeah. goes in the woods yeah um, <laughs> Yeah, last last session was like Valente has never heard the of miniature book of poems, him, but... huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does that do again? I, plus four to charisma checks. Nice. Probably good if you're trying to uh, uh ah, negotiate yes. for more. Money. It was a gift. Oh. Oh. No. It makes me uh, think about someone says in chat, Please know they them for Valente. By the way. Oh right. I was. It, it, my brain went to that because I know that Valente alternates between he and she, and my brain took the wrong conclusion. From He's that. Sign emoji. Apologies. I've done it before too. <laughs> this. Do I write a function? Because uh, it is a proficiency item. The fuck do you pro? I assume these types of items will be in the manual. Yeah. Yes, this part yeah. of the manual. I believe See, I is written. If not, okay. I will write it soon. Okay. <laughs> right now, she'll write it right now. Fuck if I yeah, because I think <laughs> non combat I think inventory. Way... Non combat inventory. I'll deal with later. Do on your own time. Yeah. All right, skills. By the way, Sam, yeah. I I like all of the descriptions that you've been putting on stuff. They're very. Thank yeah. you. I played 161 hours of Elden Ring and then wrote them all in the span of two days. Yeah. <laughs> It's it was terrifying. <laughs> I um, got I got bit by the bug. <laughs> it's a good and number bug. item description. It's a good bug to get say, bit by. Um, on items, 
if you're ever not sure if like you get the bonus by using the item on yourself or what, I think the only one that gets used and put on your stats permanently is modifying items and anything else you have to hold in your inventory. Correct mundo. So if it's not a modifying item, you gotta hold on to you it. You gotta hold it. Uh, but if it is a modifying item, um, once you use it, you can move it to your non-combat inventory, because I presume if you're reading a book that gives you plus two whatever, you don't eat the book. You can still <laughs> have it. Watch <laughs> out. You don't, don't, don't assume so fast. <laughs> oh, that no. Edmund, over, that over a book. <laughs> trying to, trying um, to remember what it was that I was looking at grabbing. Who wants to have? Who wants to be a summoner? I'm still trying to convince somebody to be I, a summoner. I keep looking at it and being like, I, you have to like have the summon skill, and you know how Edwin's skills are. Okay, so oh, I, I didn't mean for Edwin specifically. I meant yeah. just in general. I, I yeah, was I know. thinking about it, but because I know that I am literally the only person in this party <laughs> who has magic focus. Yeah. And yeah. I need at least some focus in I need to be able to heal as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a pot of soup. Yeah, it's like mix. you can only you you can only get so many things into one character. Edwin <laughs> magic man. So I was the exception and should not be sometimes. considered. <laughs> Yeah, I do look at it sometimes, and I'm like, it would be super cool to try this out, but, like, he's got someday, so much- <laughs> Someday, I will get a player to play some- I yeah. think I- see, I came up with two ideas for many things, and I'm probably gonna run the second one, not right after this one, but, like, Hello. after this one. Um, Eyes. That would be a great place for a summoner, I'm not gonna lie. Uh-huh, uh -huh. just dangling mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. in front of- I hope someone screen. does it. I- I like yeah. summoning. It's so festive. Okay, I knew what I wanted, and now I'm struggling What's to find it. What's the description? What's, that's the what's part the that, vibe the vibe is it was something that would help me in physical combat and i'm trying to remember what it was called was it like a speed thing or yeah strength thing? speed all right there's 64 things that say speed on them i'm gonna start reading them yeah <laughs> where's my scroll bar hello do you do you remember if it was active or passive it was a passive skill oh i'm in the wrong place okay. 23 that's way less okay um. Woo. Okay. Uh, acrobat, non-flyer units. No. All right. Uh, advanced speed. Add speed mod to def res when being targeted. Advanced speed. That's pretty I don't know good. Why that's funny to honestly. Me. Yeah, those are pretty good. I almost took yeah. one of those for uh, Theodore. Why can't I find it? What was it called? <laughs> There's so many things in here, and they're all so much text. Sorry. Uh, it's the flavor. I do be writing text. Pursuit automatically double as long as you're one higher than the enemy. Uh, no, here. Sorry, you're not helping. Honestly, it's making this harder. <laughs> Sorry. It, I'm trying to remember where in the list it's it was. Okay. And I'm not finding it. Okay. You take your time with that. Um, yeah. yeah, if you want to move on and come back yeah. to me. Okay. Um, just make sure if your unit has any holy blood, you put it in the inherent skills. Um, if you have any permanent effects, you put them there. Uh, if anyone decides to take permanent effects, I would, you know, we can bargain. I'll give you a little something extra. <laughs> um. Damn. Oh, here we are. What about that? <laughs> born fighter. Oh, oh yeah. born fighter. That's a that's a really good one. Archibald has that one and it saves our asses, so every day. Yeah, every day. <laughs> every day. Asses get saved. It also feels very in character for Archibald, like I I don't want to deal with combat. <laughs> don't hit me, please. Get sucked at combat. <laughs> that was the way I wanted, I think. Get sucked. Get miss. <laughs> Yo. We get sucked. <laughs> Promise? Promise? <laughs> that was so Matt. high pitch my mic didn't pick up half doesn't of have that. any requirements what does proficient to learn mean okay so you can learn yeah, skills so from other units during the game basically you can go mm -hmm. up to them and say i want to learn what you know and then mm -hmm. some checks must be made you have to make the check that is listed and you have to clear mm -hmm. the role that is listed so for example for lance fair you have to make a weaponry check, and it has to be more than a 13. In okay, order to learn. so I can ignore that for now. Yeah. Okay, so that's 600. 
but that's a good so way to I instantly have... get more skills from people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, then I was thinking this one that makes you better with swords. Sword Maybe. Bear? Yeah. Is that good? I, it's pretty yeah. nice. It gives you plus five to your strength slash magic when you're using also this word. Uh, spur things seem kind of good. Oh, yeah. Edwin yeah. has those. Very useful. So, we'd probably, yeah, on Very sword nice. fair then. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I just finished building the third NPC. Swag. <laughs> hey, Sam, uh, the regular function of sword fair says plus 10 to strength slash magic when using a sword. I know, Chepi told me the exact same thing. Hold on. <laughs> okay, it should I it think be plus one? It, it should be plus, plus five. five. Plus five. So that's not to the mod of... Is that to the mod, mod or the base stat? Base. Base. If I it think says mod, right. then it's mod. Oh, is. um, sword affinity. I already have that, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Your affinity over on the left is sword, I think. So, right, affinity, right. if uh, you're not sure, affinity's a new thing for this version. Not this version, but, you know, the previous version. Um, if you have an affinity in a weapon type, you have plus two on your rolling to hit automatically um, to hit people better with your weapon of choice. Hell yeah. Her skills are really cheap. I didn't even realize that. I guess that's how I got rid of it. <laughs> They're like it, super bad when you're low level because they can yeah. actually like make you worse at it, combat. It did make Edwin worse initially. <laughs> um, but they they snowball really fast. Yeah. yeah. I, I do have a quick question about character sheets, real fast. <laughs> so I have I've got Axe Fair, the plus five that I get. I put that in the bonus. Column, is that correct? Uh, let's see, hold on. Uh, yeah, you do only you? have access, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. If you have, if you pick up other weapons and magic, slack on your magic. Right, yeah. Yeah. I forgot it. Oh my god, Anora with seven magic, more at eleven. Whoa. That's <laughs> almost an amount. You're Good almost job. normal. So when it's something says plus two Still defense, carry, plus two resistance, that means just put two into the bonuses for both of those? Yep. You just automatically get two. Excellent. Yep. And then plus five strength magic when using you a sword. Automatically Am I always considered using a sword even out of combat? Yes. Because it's my primary as weapon? As long as that's all the weapons that are in your inventory, yes. The minute so you pick up another five. weapon, you gotta take those off. Just <laughs> dump a five into... Both yeah. strength and magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. My magic is no longer nearly sh as shit. But okay. <laughs> um, I have no permanent effects at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, which means all I have to or do now is blessing. inherent skills, which is mm -hmm. my blessing. Mm -hmm. So what? What's that? Where would I find that? Uh, those are in the manual. Um, if you okay. control F blessings, you can find exactly what everything is. If you want to declare what it is, you can write that. If you want to not declare what it is, you can write unknown. Um, okay, so it's it's the one that it's the <laughs> one that's like our ataxia. Yeah. Yes. Are these from Fire Emblem or are these? No, these, these are names I fight? made up. They've been renamed. Which is how I cannot tell what anyone's I'll, blessing. You were getting anymore. too comfortable with your yeah. knowledge. <laughs> so I already applied the growth bonus, so now I dump this in. Yep. So you I just, just put write it in the effect. Yeah. And then type is. Uh, you could write either um growth bonus or you could write minor holy blood or major holy blood, whatever. Um, blessing. Blessing. Yeah. It's, we're going to have a little cross-pollination. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Uh, if Theodora says something wrong, no, it's not her. The it's an imposter, sus. <laughs> Theodora imprisoned by the Jormungand Empire for uh, accidentally swearing her allegiance to somewhere called Belhalla? <laughs> 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 Boy, would that be funny if I did that? Yeah. 
<laughs> like, go ahead and apply that right now. You call these by the wrong name. Oh, gets arrested. Mm -hmm. So I can go ahead and yep. add another five to yep. my. Yeah. So you ring. can uh make those into ten. Damn. All right. Um. This is, is there also anything else? a ten, I believe, skill. Right. I already added the five to it. Oh, sorry. I stupid. Yeah. Looks good. Um, you also get the growth bonus, so make sure you record that as well. Uh, I, I did. I know, but you got to write it here too, so I know that oh. um these are adding up correctly. Don't fuck with me. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's Hershey kisses in my basement fridge. I'm thinking oh. about them. Don't get them clean. Chepi oh break. yeah, Chepi did play a one-shot summoner. I like don't remember that though, because that was when the summoning literally were completely different. That was the old creature table too. We got brand new critters. Yeah. All right. Uh, no permanent effects. I can put things in my inventory if I want. Mm -hmm. And not that it matters mm -hmm. for this, because I don't think you'll be accumulating enough inherent skills mm -hmm. for it to matter. But um, growth bonuses and major blood buffs are listed separately but you are not going to be filling this whole space because you're not like a weird thing like um <laughs> special type um we're not edwin. edwin you're not yeah edwin's getting close edwin uh it's okay <laughs> godfrey capped his i had to give him a sixth slot uh, yeah. <laughs> you can have an infinite amount of inherent skills by the way um oh good. it yeah. just makes your sheet formatting jank <laughs> um <laughs> oh yeah and just so you guys know um after five permanent effects your character doesn't have to die but they do have to retire from battle so if you're if we're getting at the end of one of the combats you see four little effects on your guy maybe consider making a backup character i'm not going to tell you to make one automatically just because i don't think it, it hasn't happened in the main campaign so it probably won't happen in this little one um but yeah uh okay what else yeah if you if you manage to get four permanent yeah, effects time. please let someone else stand in front of you yeah it means you are doing somehow playing the game wrong there's no wrong way to play the game but you're doing it uh let's take a look at mala's sheet all right because yeah. non-combat inventory and notes i can fill out like yep. that's flavor that's all flavor all right Excellent. mallow three three um I would write for luck miracle saves um, when it comes to how many you have. I like to list them uh, current out of total, so three out of three, um, okay. just so that you know how much you've spent because yeah. there are no, conditions on which the maximum can get bigger. <laughs> yeah. It's good to know. Again, I <laughs> shove Edwin under the rug. <laughs> Unrelated, yes, just very yes. quickly. 15. I looked over and my cat has her entire face squished into the blanket on top of my printer as she's snoozing. Oh, fucking bappy mode. Oh. Oh, a beast. Warm up me cold nose. Yeah. Uh, two. Uh, nightmare coefficient. She's a soldier. You're a soldier, yep. Whoa, that's a lot of languages. I'm not sure if all of these are Ancient, correct huh? for her. Let's check out ancient. One second. Let's look. Oh, Sam, did you look at my languages? Because there's. One second. Let me. I just want to verify yep, that what you're I fine. wrote is acceptable. You're fine. Uh, lang lem languages. Three no nightmares. A very rare language not spoken by anyone. She's proficient in scholastics. Okay. Uh, so she's just a nerd. Can you add? Yes. Can you add some sort of reference dictionary to your non-combat inventory then? Okay. Because, um, yeah. it's like Latin. Nobody speaks Latin unless you're the Pope. <laughs> and even in this universe, the Pope doesn't fucking speak it. <laughs> <laughs> well, why would he speak Latin? The why would there be Latin here? She doesn't speak ancient. Um, the Pope gets some nerd to translate that for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, excuse me, her. Girl boss nation. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, other than that, looks good. You're a wizard. Uh, you have no gold left over? No. All right, broke bitch. Excellent. <laughs> my okay. my question is, if the do you think it would be a bad idea to take the fire dancers, Chansonier? The what? Because I was like, oh, that it looks like fun. Never hurts to have a dancer. Yeah, yeah. I think your I really mage is those. your healer and is also your dancer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're just yeah. A, you're just a support of many talents. Yeah, All right. like uh, it never hurts just to have the option to help someone 
move again for whatever. And a lot of my do. skills ended up being like to make it easier to go to he to heal people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's happening with the numbers here? Are these um uh, I just, just with the modifiers? With the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> so I don't have to. So it's easier for me to do math later. That's so valid. That's so valid. Uh, okay. So magic range plus one. That makes it um. 10, oh. 20, 30. Um, um, dance goes in your skills, right? It does, um, I'll, I'll but because it's an here. item, because it's an item, it lives in your regular inventory. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just letting Mallow know you will okay. have to okay. those, because you only get five skills. Yeah, you don't I will, I will update the skills. inventory later on. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, uh, I'm in a manuscript... Finished coloring book. Yeah, I guess. I guess what I'm saying is one of your skills is going to get overwritten by dance if you use yes, it. Yes, correct. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because it's a modifying item. Yeah. Right. Okay. You get you get as many inherent skills as you need, but the uh, the regular skills you only get five. I will consider uh, redoing my. I might consider doing something slightly different with my skills to end up with four, so I can take the fifth as dance. Yeah, and I and you have a lot of like these are all good skills, but like you could probably um get like a stronger version of one of them or something similar that's yeah. stronger that like um to use up that gold. If yeah, yeah, uh yeah. if you're if it seems like you're building a pretty um like support unit, um I would recommend personal opinion. Personal onion, mm -hmm. if you will. Um oh. I would recommend getting rid of either live to serve because if you're going mostly support, you're probably not gonna be losing that much HP. Um or opportunist. Um just because mm -hmm. if you're a mage, they're probably you can only um be a excuse me, an attack of opportunity in melee range. Oh, I didn't yeah, even and you've got you've got okay. even extra range as a mage. Yeah, if they're if they're in melee range, something has gone horribly wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I forgot yeah. about the because I realized yeah. near the end I was like, she makes way more sense as a mage class instead of a cleric class. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I might I might update live to serve as something else i'm just gonna make a note here that yeah. i have i believe it's 200 skill points but i'll double check the totals yep and same thing as um, annika normally i'd say um separate the major blessing and the minor blessing effect because uh as a major blessing you get both um as two separate skills um but that's more of a formatting issue uh okay looks good dragging you away yeah going in the hall all right, what else <laughs> needs to be discussed? I'm trying to think. Uh, oh yeah, frequently asked questions. Any questions for frequently asked? Is anybody- uh, Are we there life? yet? Not yet. <laughs> what did team Matt say? Live to serve is- What's the meaning of life? Uh, How are you doing today? Permanent effect. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I didn't have work today. Good. I don't have work today. I mean, tomorrow or the day after. I, I got a two-day weekend, baby. Does a little nice. jig. Nice. <laughs> Slay. Um, does anyone have any like combat or confusion? Confusions, combats. None. None that I can think mm. of like right now. Because I'll be real with you. If I'm confused, I'm I'm not gonna know until I'm there. I, I will probably replace thumbs up. It. Also, as a note, I'm probably going to replace live to serve with the hope being that, uh, I just don't get hit anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll we we will be trying to not let you get hit. And you can, you. you're like standing like two yeah. tiles away from people to hit yeah. them. Home, and so. I'll keep, I'll keep rescuing wings because that'll make it easier for me to potentially yeah. uh, heal or dance somebody out of a bad situation. Yeah, oh. getting, getting to the people can so that's yeah. a good plus that gives me a whole fucking 700 skill points to play with <laughs> nice. for one skill yeah. that's a lot uh wait that's hold on what are you so gonna good. what are you gonna acquire because i'm i'm looking at the skill I list wanna, now I let me see yeah here. honestly Data, filter views you let could also so, switch out um miracle for something else if you wanted to uh break that into like two big boy skills um yeah well i mean you, i need an not extra that spot for dance True. yeah um but not not that miracle is like useless but since we're seeing a little combat um true 
Also, and, like, it's more festive if I get to maim you. <laughs> True. Well, like, you will probably you chances are you will still get maimed with having circle. <gasps> it's just that like you get to pick slightly which maiming you get. I get to yeah. pick which one. Want you getting maimed fun. anyway? You want Nora me. getting maimed? Also, mood about the you not getting hit. Don't worry. Points. Yeah. I'm an aggro tank. <laughs> Yeah, I got a couple of skills that uh, stop enemies from moving or put them to sleep so that um, they would not hurt anybody, so. Mm -hmm. Ah, she has just shy of enough resistance to get her magic. Damn. That would have been funny. Alright, uh, just, um, as a reminder, this, uh, specific thing is not only designed to be a fun adventure for my beloved friends, um, yeah. but also because I wanted- I, I could decide whether something happened in the history of the main campaign, so you will be deciding that for me, um, <laughs> through your actions. I'm so worried about that. Yeah. I am like, I need to influence the campaign that I don't- <laughs> Yeah, you guys are gonna be influencing, um, the- the- the main campaign, um, with your- uh, your emotions, and I- I- <laughs> Sweating. Team Matt, on some level I regret telling you certain things because I feel like you're gonna know exactly what you're influencing. Um, but I trust well, that everyone well, will try yeah. their best not to metagame regardless of the knowledge mm -mm. you know. And also, um you know, just be normal yeah. about that old man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean a specific never. old man, that's just kind of like gestures <laughs> to the campaign. Be normal about that old man. This gesture should TM at specifically. I have a history of old men. Old man make me lose control. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. No worry. If there's an old man, if I see something that'll make me go a little, I promise to mute and scream privately. And maybe then DM you like Sam, but yeah, then I'll, you but can I'll be DM game. me. It's fine. Also, I hate metagaming more than anything, so I promise you, I will not be metagaming. Here's the policy on metagaming. Here's the policy on metagaming, which I, when it comes to metagaming, I'm not like a I'm not like a cop about it, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna boot you from my campaign for um you know talking to a player when you're not in the scene. Uh, you're welcome to offer friendly suggestions to players for, as players. Um, mm -hmm. You're welcome to look at the manual during the game. You can look at you can look at creature sheets. If you encounter a creature, you can look at the sheet, um, and you can you know see what's what's up with the creature. Um, I'm not gonna give you all the information you need, um, but uh, if you manage you know to find the information out yourself, that's fine. Um, what I ask is that. In regards to, like, I, I'm not going to say sharing information with the players of the main campaign, Trike, um, because yeah. obviously, Trike is here. Um, <laughs> but what I don't want is for those that have information about the main campaign to let that information influence your decisions made during this one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because yeah. you're going to, you might see a, you know, you might see a familiar face. Don't if if it's a mean face, you might want to attack them, but don't unless that's what your character would do. You know, yeah. don't try to influence the campaign in that way. Like, don't try to kill an important person because if I've already established something in the main campaign, that's the canon. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, you you're influencing to a limited degree. If you let someone very very important die who's already like been seen. In the main campaign, I'm gonna be like, "Oh yeah, you suddenly forget everything." No, they're they're alive. Maybe they made it out. Uh, one of their mm -hmm. miracle saves, uh, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, you guys are welcome to talk to each other during battle. You're welcome to give each other suggestions outside of the game. Um, just like as long as you're not like a dick about it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> just don't be like a complete asshole about. It. Yeah. Don't make the game not fun for other people. Okay. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, if if, like, if I notice someone starting to get, like, manual spiral syndrome, like, you just can't <laughs> rip yourself away from reading rules, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to stop. Like, okay, chill out. Part of the allure is that nobody knows what's going on, including me. Um, yeah. 
yeah. doesn't write the manual on purpose. No. Um, <laughs> it's a gameplay choice? It's a gameplay <laughs> choice where only I know the rules. Oh, yeah. Also, um, everything's a little broken because I'm not done yet. So if you notice something's yeah. a little broken, just say so, and I will do my best to fix it. Uh, there um, might be so. hot fixes on the spot. We might be experiencing <laughs> live game updates. I know for a fact we will be experiencing... We, you guys are you guys are my uh my little uh you know test Eight. guinea pig subjects for at least one new oh, gameplay yeah. mechanic. Um, Whoa! Sam, I have a question of something that I couldn't figure out logistically while I was uh d setting up my character, and then I stopped worrying about for like the sheet stuff. Yeah. Uh, I know that there are rules in the book for how you determine whether or not your character even has a uh blessing or like mm -hmm. if a child that your character has has a blessing depending on the parents mm -hmm. uh is it is it like a person with a major blessing can have a child with a major or minor blessing if you have a minor blessing you can only have children with minor blessings or is it just literally the presence of any blessing can give you a child with any okay so here's blessing. how it works if you have a major blessing your child could have major minor none if you have minor your child could have minor or none if you have none you're getting none um okay so basically it's okay. everything below uh and that's for okay. all blessings between both parents so that's how you can get like major one minor another from two major parents um you could get a child with fucking nothing from two major parents <laughs> fuck you that guy child with two major and they're like suddenly the most eligible bachelor in the whole fucking world <laughs> they're a science experiment and they yeah. should start packing um oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> tips my beverage quietly oh, no. <laughs> um but yeah that's a good question normally i'd say that's like a fun way to generate characters if you want to you know do the genetics of your your parents but i know you guys have already decided on your uh blessing yeah. so no it's fine it's I, can, I can, I can, I can <laughs> back into blessings as necessary i was just trying to determine before i made any decisions that ended up becoming like that doesn't work that way mm -hmm. no so. yeah understandable understandable but yeah, if any of you manage to somehow spawn a child during the course of this <laughs> five-session campaign, whoa, first of all, second of all, okay, um, yes, that's how you would determine there. Fuck it, we solved question mark? Yeah, you can, listen, I mean, uh, I'm- Can love bloom on the battlefield? Can love bloom on the battlefield? Can, can love bloom on the battlefield enough that babies happen? Samothy, <laughs> answer. Uh, well, probably the not in the planned one month time period that it exists in, but also at the end, I haven't gotten to do this with the main campaign. Emperance once again resents the sentiment. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> once, uh, uh, at the, at the end of the campaign, we haven't gotten to do this with the main campaign, because it's obviously not fucking over. Um, everyone gets a little ending card, so... Oh. At, the, at the end at the end of the final session i'll give everyone a chance to where are they now sort of deal you know oh, fire goodness. emblem ending card style you know, wait um <laughs> who knows and that may determine that character's ability to be a uh you know little cameo in the big mm -hmm. in the big in the real deal uh all right what else i'm trying to think is there anything else that i'm missing uh, any more f questions frequently asked? If not, allow me What's to set. Love? Allow me to set the scene for you. Allow me to set the scene for you. We're not starting tonight, but mm -hmm. um, allow me to uh do a little bit of an intro. Uh, so you guys have all uh come to this fortress uh at the behest of Lord Normanth. Um, maybe you were summoned here specifically, uh, Theodora, you, you especially have been brought here, um, this, this guy out there, Stein Grimmer, that's, hey, wait a minute, that's, uh, yeah. that's your family, so, you know, they, they send their, their littlest guy to go deal with the problem, because it's probably nothing. Um, some of you were sent here by your families because, you know, it's military service and you have no, no real other place to be, there's no major war on. Um, this is as good a job to do as any, it probably pays, so, eh, why not? Um, and some of you are here because of your, not only, obviously, your prestige 
uh, in society, but because of your great skill with uh, your weapons and abilities. So that's where you find yourselves. Um, you are just getting into the fortress. Uh, it's early in the morning. Um, you don't want to be late to an important meeting with uh, such a high-ranking lord. But uh, he's not ready for you yet. So oh. we will start in the uh, sort of meeting parlor uh, with one a noble lady from uh, uh -huh. Lord Norman's house. Uh, Hello. You will get to meet this noble lady next Women? week at 7 on Monday. <laughs> Tune in yeah. next time. But yeah, just be mentally prepared to uh introduce yourselves to mm -hmm. people in Canada. Yeah. Alright. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Does anyone have any lingering questions or are we good? I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm very excited. I can tell. Okay. Hey, gang. How many, hey, how, gang. many, how many docs have I sent you over the past like three days? A lot. I've read I'm them all. Should I take Boon or Target Magic? Hold on. Let me read both of them. Boon takes all negative, removes all negative statuses from adjacent allies at the beginning of the player phase. Mm. Status mm. effects can be kind of killer, so that actually sounds extremely useful. I'll yeah. Take Boon and literally, I also kill love me. passive skills where I don't have to think about it. Yeah. Very hard. Yeah. Um. And just keep in mind, guys, you are responsible for uh, keeping track of your own skills. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just minimizing the chance of me forgetting about a thing. Okay. All right. Any last uh any last word any last words? I'm putting Can't a wait. gun next to your head, by the way. Can't wait <sighs> to hunt the dissidents with this lovely group. <laughs> I would like to smash at least yeah. one dissident. <laughs> I think I think I was gonna say uh combat is like extremely collaborative because we're you if you ever put a fire emblem game mm -hmm. you're you're one person moving a bunch of little guys it's the same mechanics but we all got separate little guys so we we do a lot of talking teamwork make the dream work that's and why the go down. Okay. yeah so like <laughs> if you have an idea suggest it mm -hmm. yeah yeah also <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah i should probably mention if you're really stuck and you have no fucking clue what to do, and yeah. you're, you want to hit the easy mode button, there's an easy mode. This game has an easy option. It's called <laughs> making a tactics check. If you roll high enough, I will help you. You will get a tips from the DM pop-up on the bottom of your screen. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, don't feel... If, if, if it's too hard, if it's whatever I've done is too hard for you guys, and you're really stuck, don't feel bad about it. We're here to have fun. If tips from the yeah. DM is how we have fun, that's how we have fun. Yeah. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes I forget the good ideas, though. So, <laughs> I am not the word of God. Um, even when I am. Shout out to Edwin yeah. almost dying that one time. Because he almost exploded he, his he, own blood. Um, he, he. It's fine. Um, yeah, that was also the really... time that the uh, status effects were like, Oh God, why didn't we bring the recover stuff? Leaves the recover staff oh, outside. No. And whatever. It's fine. He's alive. He's alive. I think uh, he could die at this point. For now. <laughs> Do I have to- I should calculate the chance of him dying again now that he has more luck miracle saves. Oh, no. You should calculate the likelihood of, uh, your current player character. Oh, that's character. true. I- I was like- that? I was looking at her luck growth like, hmm. Trike, Trike's a mathologist. He can help you. You have uh, so many maths in it's your brain. Like, are, we off, after are we off Twitch now? No, we are not. <laughs> um, <laughs> Twitch still. Just for, <laughs> for each... The chance of rolling death on the permanent effects table is 1 out of 20. Mm -hmm. um, and then you multiply that by your um, percent chance... Oh, sorry. Your luck growth, because that's the... That you have to, like, roll under that on a D100 to uh, live. Um... And then you just do that for how many luck miracle saves you have, which should just be three for everyone, I think. I believe so. So, yeah. like, if I have to roll for, like, the the table or whatever, if I rolled, with my luck growth of 50%, if I roll a 37, I'm just fine. Yeah. Well, you yeah. you survive this is, this with is one HP. This is after you roll death on the... Yeah. Right. You survive this, with yeah. one this HP, is... and one HP, regardless of your current 
whatever's happening, you're unconscious. If you have one HP, you're unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as soon as you're not at one HP, hopefully higher than that, you are mm -hmm. back alive. If you're, you're at zero conscious. and you stay at really? zero, you have died. <laughs> yeah, really, it's a big fun thing of like, wow, once you run out of those luck miracle saves, uh, your potential permanent effects can just really start stacking. <laughs> No, 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 you don't understand, you don't understand, you misunderstand, uh, you oh, roll okay. a d20 first, you have to roll a 20 on the d20 to access your luck miracle saves, permanent effects uh, come first, you uh, don't choose, uh, you, those, okay. those are your last ditch effort to stay alive, <laughs> you've yeah. expended your you other don't options, touch those. you don't want those to go down at all, cause that means, uh, you're, you're out of limbs and you're out of time. <laughs> Yeah. And then, like, I think if you roll a one, you also just get away. Yeah, from if you roll a one, you just, that, you're like, fine. Happens. Yeah. That's, also, I've yeah. One, a rolling a one dying. is the, hooray, you're fine, happy face result. Rolling a 20 is a, hooray, you're fine, big sad face result. <laughs> hooray, you're fine, now pay up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> pay hey, we the the Gotta the, pay the troll the, toll. Um, with if the you want to... Keep oh, possession sorry. of your soul. Um, Theodore, with a fifty percent luck growth, has um a handshake emoji a point six percent chance of dying if she were to get hit zero HP. Mm -hmm. So, still a very small chance of actually Less properly. Than one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't. What is Edwin's? Like it says. Point zero 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 it's, it's zero 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 like the notation. Hold on, give me yeah. a Yeah, it's <laughs> uncannable. Yeah. His luck growth is actually bigger because of his. Uh, yeah. Life. So basically, We're if you are him. at all afraid of your character dying, um, if you make your luck growth a hundred, you will never die. So, cool hacks with Sam. Yeah. If you want to get rid of that bitch, get the luck growth down to zero. <laughs> And then get them set up for an execution, which um, I don't think will be happening in this campaign. Um, under certain circumstances, if you're unconscious um, and you take damage while unconscious, uh, it'll just go straight to your luck miracle saves. It'll bypass the permanent effects table because you're just being, like, beheaded. Like, that's not going to make your arm pop off. You're just going to die. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, I don't have plans for that to happen. Like I said, no sudden death. Um. So, yeah, I think we're good. Sweats, sweats in 35% yeah. luck growth. Nobody look I at me, nobody touch me. I lost track of my multiplying. <laughs> I'm still doing my math. Still doing math. I lost track of how many times I put his luck growth into it. Oh, no. I want to see, okay. I want to see what Trikey's answer is, and then I think we are good. Squish his straw baby. I'm so excited. I want to yeah, eat Straw Baby so badly. Strawberry. Every time you say her name, I'm yeah, like, put nice her in my mouth. Oh yeah, uh, one question. Um, As far as, like, I, I know how the normal party plays, but I kind of want to get a feel for you guys. Um, How much time should I allot for just, like, you know, fucking around? I love, I love to roleplay. <laughs> I love roleplaying and fucking around so much, Sam. Okay, it's so I should so allot good. at least an hour every session to just, like, you guys... Yeah. Talking yeah, to each other, right. no Sam yeah. interference. Or like talking to NPCs. Yeah. Talk, not plot. Okay. That's Please. good. That's okay. good. I'm always I like to be a funny worst little worst guy. case scenario. Uh we just have extra time on our plates because we ended up doing less role play. Yeah. See? Perfect. Um yeah, because I always I always put aside an hour for the main campaign. Um but I also have to put aside an extra half hour for them because they have dreams where you guys don't have dreams. Um, <laughs> well, you can have dreams, just your own. Um, right. Uh, yeah. So, I'm, like, trying to budget time, because I'm like, ooh, I don't need to put down for that half hour anymore. Which is fine, because that's usually the half hour that goes past 11. Um. That's, that's time for Sam to spend, uh, cooking meat. Exactly. Grilled Okay, I got the such. number. Oh. Um. Point zero zero two percent chance of Edwin dying. Holy shit! That's our guy. This uh, guy. I'm this so guy could have a gun to the back dead. of his hold head on, and on. it would miss. Hold on. Sorry, it's smaller now with the brain dead chance. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Point zero zero one percent chance. Oh my. Poor God. him. 
Yeah. He cannot but, get off. This don't worry, way. guys. You will, guys cannot be brain dead. So don't worry about yeah. that. Yay! I, brains is good. Brains are either on or off with you guys. Brains is real. Is real like twelve out of ten organ. I think. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. It's I'm, easily I'm one of my favorites. That. <laughs> we need to add that to our deck of things to ask at the end of the campaign. Wait, what? What happens if you re revive someone when who's brain dead? Oh, I can tell you that right now. They're fine. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like any other permanent effect. It's just a permanent effect. You can fix it. Yeah, yeah, but Bean. like, you know, you're gonna put some spice in it. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna- there's gonna be flavorful horrors, okay. but like, they okay. will mechanically be fine. Okay. Right. Just put a new brain in there. Yeah, yeah, point. just just open that thing that, up. I made you one. Here you go, Trikey. I hand oh, you a no. I hand you a lump of like wet brain mass. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> From uh <laughs> the dissidents. The dissidents. It's from the dissidents. It's okay. Adora, I think I'm present good. to Theodora. Oh no. All right. Well, I'm so excited to see um these four ladies. Um, well, I guess five ladies, because there's another lady. Um, yeah! Women. You know, uh, doing noble things in their noble fortress before going to kill. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be so festive. Be prepared for a non-combat session. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, gonna say goodnight so to Twitch. Goodbye, Twitch. Goodnight, Goodnight Twitch! Goodnight, Twitch.